Mark, you're you're higher on Rattler than you are Knicks. Is that correct? I am. Spencer Rattler to me, you know, obviously started at Oklahoma and then Caleb Williams comes in and steals the show. He goes to South Carolina and he does some pretty good things. You know, I think he grew up a lot at South Carolina. I think you can see it on the film. And, you know, he had a really, really good senior bowl. And I think he was the senior bowl MVP as well. He's definitely got the talent. He was a top recruit coming out of high school. Like, he definitely has the arm talent and, and scrambling ability and stuff you're looking for at quarterback. Um, the question really just is, can he do it consistently? And, and can he do it uh, on its, you know, because South Carolina, they won games, but they never were, like, really in the conversation for being one of the best teams, you sure. know. Um, but he was absolutely a reason they were even somewhat relevant. Uh, this first this first play, you know, I think is one of the better plays you'll see in this entire video, right? In this entire breakdown of all our quarterbacks, he's he's rolling right. He settles his feet to kind of buy himself a little extra time just to freeze the defense. And it's the slight stuff like this in the pocket to manipulate pass rushers that buy you that extra second to give you a chance to make the throw that go unnoticed. And then to throw this thing on the run, it, you know, there is literally two inches of separation here from that defender's hand to the completion. Like this had to be perfectly thrown and it's not an easy throw on the run and very risky. Cause this is a pick six. If he doesn't throw this thing perfect and coaches are probably holding their breath when this ball comes out, but he trusts himself and he works on this. And this is, you can clearly see he's confident. This is a confident throw. This is a Sunday throw. Um, it's about as good as it gets when you're watching film of a quarterback and you see how they throw this out route. And then you so talk about tough, in his face. Yeah, yeah. toughness and, and being fearless, you know, knowing how to handle like this is a guy, the offensive lineman gets beat pretty much right away. And this is a play action, deep shot play. And the, the Florida Gators are doing a stunt and they slant and South Carolina gets beat up front bad. And he just, he recognizes it. No one is about to take a hit to the ground, throws this thing perfectly accurate down the field on the deep post route. Because again, you bring pressure, you're vulnerable on the back end. And these quarterbacks' ability to recognize that and give their guys chance to make a play down the field and deliver a ball that accurately with a 300-pound dude in your face, you got to respect it, and you got to recognize that that is... So I love the emotion in this person's hand right here that <laughs> pops up. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Gamecocks, man. They don't mess around. They love the rat. I call him Spencer the Rat, you know? You got the last name Rattler. It's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, this is this this does this not look a lot like the Caleb Williams throws that we showed Jeez. earlier? Yeah, you know, like play action, steps up in the pocket, throws this thing while taking a hit while running. It's I'm telling you, like Spencer Rattler is the guy I don't think many people are talking about. And he's one of those guys that he's not going to be. I don't think he's going to be a first round pick, but in a different year, he very well might be. And that's the thing with some of these guys that are towards the back end of this list that we have. And we did break these down in order, but Spencer Rattler can do it all, man. And get, in the, get him in the right circumstance and who knows what, what he'll be able to do. Uh, this is a back shoulder ball from the right hash to the left outside the numbers. This is a Sunday throw, dude. Like, this is a Sunday throw. Like, we watched Patrick Mahomes miss on this throw in the Super Bowl to Kelsey two weeks ago. And here mm -hmm. Spencer Rattler is making it, like, completing it. It's a hard throw, man. Back shoulder all the way across the field. Perfectly placed, man. Like, he definitely shows things that make you make you think twice. Last this is the, la this the last one here of Rattler. Uh, he, again, offensive line beat right away. Buys himself time, continuing to, to, to get back, right? Stiff arms off, and then he's falling backwards off one foot, throws this thing up and over the defender on a scramble drill. It's just like the soft accuracy of that. Like there's there's tight window accuracy where you're ripping a ball in and you're you know you're hoping that your receiver can get his hands on it. This is like anticipating and, and giving your guy a chance to run underneath it, but also have to be soft enough where the defender can't get to it. And it's a very, very tough thing to do. I, I would argue this is harder to do than the tight window fastball accuracy. Like, this is a very touch throw. And he absolutely has that touch that requires to make tough throws like this. And he does it consistently. So you can hate on him all you want. You can talk about Spencer Rattler. 
definitely a legitimate prospect and some a guy that I think is going to get slapped on in this draft just because the nature of who's ahead of him. Yeah, and like you said, Mark, I mean, you're you're higher in him than you are Bo Nix. I think you know ninety percent of of people probably don't even know like it, Rattler's not a name that they're thinking of at all as an NFL prospect. And, you know, somebody that surprised me for sure. But I think you show the film and also the circumstances, right? Obviously, you know, getting beat out by Williams, right? Shit. You're going to kind of fade with the story in that situation. That doesn't necessarily mean you're a bad athlete. He's QB 1A or 1B in this draft. Mostly. John, can I tell you a story? Yeah, sure. Joe, Joe Burrow got beat out by a few guys <laughs> at Ohio State, right? Yeah. You know, I'm not saying he's Joe Burrow, but Joe Burrow got forgotten about. And then yeah. he went to LSU and he had an outstanding career and – He's one of the best guys in the league now. Um, now, Rattler didn't do as much as Burrow did in college, but a lot of people wrote him off when Caleb Williams came into town and, and showed him up. So just because you're not Caleb Williams doesn't mean you're not going to still be a good NFL quarterback. and doesn't mean you, you couldn't pass him down the road, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and again, like, I, I think the film that you broke down there, those are Sunday throws, um, you know, there's definitely potential there. Um, again, we're not saying he's a first round guy necessarily, but I could see his draft stock rising as, as time goes on here. Absolutely.